Seven drivers, four rounds, one winner. The world's top four-in-hand teams recently battled it out in Bordeaux to be crowned the FEI Driving World Cup champion. Coming into the final, the man to beat was eight-time World Cup winner Boyd XL. Another strong season from the Australian saw him top the qualification standings. Indoor driving is all about um, full risk, full gain, full speed, full pain, you know, so you, it's an open competition. Now the sport's much closer, level's much higher, faster, there is a lot less difference between the top drivers, down to one second, point zero of a second. Someone who's been hot on the heels of Excel all season is 25-year-old Bram Chardon, son of driving legend Ice Bram Chardon. To beat Boyd is definitely not easy, and I think it starts with 100% focus on yourself. I'm, I'm coming here and try to be in front of him, but that, that'll start with today, to, to be clear and to leave that pressure on. It was only Bram's second season in the World Cup as a driver, but he's had plenty of experience having been part of his father's team on many occasions. The reason um, I'm, I'm here where I am now is, is mainly part of me being part of my dad's team for so many championships. I've been at World Equestrian Games, I've been at Indoor World Cup Finals, so you know how it's like, nothing is new to me. For Coase Durand, the finals were also a family affair. With new horses this season, Coase had consistent performances throughout and finished second in the qualifying standings. Marie, my wife, is uh, my navigator and my son Peter is the backstep. Marie always goes with me, so that's nothing new. But Peter is 15 and he started uh, this season with uh, going with me. For me, I like it that he likes what I'm doing. Also competing for the title were Benjamin Ayo, who made it as the home wildcard, with Glenn Geertz of Belgium and Switzerland's Jerome Voutaz, who'd finished in the top six qualifying places. For the first time in a final, all four rounds counted toward the overall score. The opening day of competition provided an unexpected upset, as Boyd XL amassed 32 penalty seconds over the first two rounds. Bram Chardon put together two faultless performances, finishing day one at the top of the leaderboard, ahead of Coz de Ronde and Glenn Geertz. With only the top three making it through to the final round, Geertz only had a three-second lead on Icebrand in fourth. Despite one fault, Geertz was quick enough to make it into the drive-off of a World Cup final for the first time in his career. The first to go in the final three, Glenn Geertz for Belgium. That's four penalties for Glenn Geertz to add, miscommunication. Over the bridge, crowds are right behind this young man, 29-year-old from Belgium. Oh, it's gone, crash. Eight added. Glenn Geertz completes his 2019 FEI World Cup campaign on 551.98. Goes the run for the Netherlands. 551.98 to beat. Bidding to take the title again here in Bordeaux. This is a very good run indeed from the former champion. Goes to run for the Netherlands. 551.9, and he stops the clock in 521.63. Goes to run for the Netherlands. Goes in to the lead. Bram Schadow for the Netherlands. Could he be the youngest ever winner of an FEI driving World Cup final? Look at the way this team are going. He knows he's got a bit in hand, but he also knows mistakes can happen. So we can't risk being off the pace at all throughout this competition. He now just has the last loop. He's got to get round. Oh, we're going to see a new champion of the World Cup. The young 25-year-old Bram Schoenor, he becomes champion. He stops the clock in 5-0-2. 0.43 seconds. A beaming Bram Chardon on top of the world in Bordeaux, on top of the podium, 2019 FEI Driving World Cup Champion. OK, 
can't believe it still. It, it's amazing, of course, to, to be here. My just my second final and to be four, four double clear rounds and to be so far away from the others. It's it's amazing, of course. Yeah, I think the team uh, every day they grow, the confidence grow by me and the horses. They felt pretty good all four rounds. There were no weak points. It, that was just simply amazing. Absolutely.